The investigation came after British athletes born in Somalia said he illegally was traded to England as a child. London Metropolitan Police have opened an investigation of the British Olympic Olympic revelation M. O. Farah, he is traded illegally to England as a child. A 39-year-old Somalia-born athlete who won a double Olympic gold for his adopted country in the 2012 and 2016 to 2016 matches in the BBC documentary This Week's Real Name was Hussein Abdi Kahim. He added he was forced to work in domestic slavery after entering the country aged 8 or 9. We know the report in the media about Sir M. O. Farah, Metropolitan Police said in a statement on Thursday. There are no reports made to the current parliamentary members. Specialist officers have opened an investigation and are currently assessing available information. Farah was helped to get British citizenship by physical education teachers at school, Alan Watkinson, while still using the name of the Assumption Mohammed Farah, who was given to him by a woman who traded him to England. On Wednesday, Farah is guaranteed by the British government she will not be disarmed from her citizenship, with a spokesman for Prime Minister Boris Johnson described it as sports heroes. Instead of moving to England as a refugee from Somalia with her mother and two siblings to join the father of the TI consultant as claimed earlier, Farah said she came from Djibouti with a woman she had never met before, and then had to be guarded to guard after its other family children. In fact, he said, his father was in the Somali civilian riots when Farah was four years old and his mother, Aisha, and two brothers lived in the state of Somaliland who separated himself. He was encouraged to speak by his wife and children, after burying the truth for decades. To be honest, I don't want to talk about it because I say to myself that I will never talk about it. I will lock it, he said.